Hey folks, in this video we're going to go over how you can install the kayak launch on your dock. So you might have noticed in previous videos I had a kayak launch sitting on a seawall. That involved four anchor bolts into the seawall. This is a little bit different process and we want to show you how it works. So we're going to get started. Okay. Now you got you it where a... you want it. Yep. Um, I mean, we can kick it over just there. Here. Just so you clear the stringer. Yeah, we should be able to clear the stringer on both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's all on the inner. So we got a stringer here, and we got a stringer here. We got a half inch drill bit. We're going to drill out our holes here. And then just so that we don't get our holes out of line, we're going to end up popping these down and that will help hold that in place. Now we'll drill the opposite corner. drop that down and now when we drill these other ones our holes won't get out of place might be tricky to get the angle here with your drill Okay, all the holes are drilled. Now we can pop these out. Set your tools aside, tilt this back. And then we'll begin the next step. Okay, we got our U-bolts. Now we're going to be installing the bunks on to the cradle arms. Okay, so right now we're attaching the bunks to the cradle arms. We're using those U-bolts with the flat washer, lock washer, and nut. We're loosely attaching them right now. This way we can make adjustments later. Installing the handrail is easy. Remove the bolts from the cradle arms, drop the handrail in, and reinstall the bolts. Right now, the bolt take the side here. It helps if you have two people. If you don't, you still can possibly do it. But so those little tongues are gonna lock onto that onto that ladder. Slide bolt there. Okay, I can hold it. I actually got it. So right here, we're just snugging up those bolts. And then we need to snug up this one and we'll repeat that process on the other side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, sorry. There you go. Okay, so at this point, we're checking the spacing and we're just moving the bunks to where we think will best fit our particular kayaks. So this is going to vary on every installation depending on what kayaks you own. But I find that 11 inches to 12 inches of spacing fits most kayaks out on the market today. So right now we're just tightening up those bolts and then we'll get ready to install it on the dock. Okay. Almost right on. So now we're just slowly working the launch over the edge. Oh, perfect. Make sure these are flipped this way and that will allow it to rest. And we could already drop bolts in. It lined up perfect. So all you have to do is you just hold some pressure this way and it will keep the launch from falling off. Okay, now I'm gonna go underneath the dock and install these backing plates. Okay, so right now you can see the fastener rods that are running down below. There's four of them. And you can see that we have these large wood stringer beams running this way. So right now we're installing the backing plate. We're then gonna install the washer. And then the lock washer and then the nut. Now what you do is you take your wrench and you put it on the bolt and then the person on the top side will secure down that respective bolt. Okay, that should be good for now. Now go to the other one, tightening. Now we just have to repeat this process. The kayak launch is now securely fastened to the dock via the four threaded rods and the backing plates. The kayak launch is now ready to be used. Operating the kayak launch is easy. Even a kid can do it. The winch takes very little effort to manipulate in either direction. Simply turn it one way or the other to go up and down. The kayak launch works with a wide array of paddle crafts. You can find out more information by checking out the links in the video description below. Thanks for watching.